previously on for the love of Ray J. They stepped up that game and they were better. Number two, ladies and gentlemen, Norwood's finest. I've lost yet again, but this time it was on behalf of Unique Choking. On our one on one, Ray grabs my face and he looks me in my eyes and we just couldn't resist it. Mm. I don't like when a girl forces herself on me. Mm, mm, mm. No. Oh, you don't got a boyfriend, right? I don't know what's going on with caviar. So I star 69 her last phone call. This is Larry. Larry? What the f Caviar. Larry's my homeboy. He told me you didn't even care. That hurts. When Ray starts going off on caviar, I'm like, oh my god. You can't play me in my own baby. You gotta pack your and get out. Yeah, it was something like that. Are oh, y'all here for the love of Ray J? Yes. Hell yeah! Let's yes. keep it moving. Yeah. My name is Ray J. Singer, songwriter, actor, and platinum selling artist. I've had a lot of success and made a lot of money. I love the ladies, and the ladies love me. But after years of being a Hollywood player, maybe it's time to get serious and find that girl who can make me change my ways. Maybe. down to eight girls right now, and I am not about to let Ray slip away. Last night, me and Kashmir decide to go find Ray, and we cozy up a big cot of pillows on the living room floor, and I feel great the fact that I woke up next to my man. I wake up early, and I see Ray J and Unique on the floor in the living room asleep. I'm pissed off about it because it's Unique, and she claims that she's such a Lady, you get punched in the face. This morning, they were covered in blankets sleeping on the floor. He just slept with two girls. I am upset. I feel like there have been times where we've had some genuine connections with each other. Right now, I'm not really sure what to think. Hello. Hey, Daddy. Hey, sweet cake. How you doing? Doing better. You Are you able to walk? Yeah, I can walk a little bit. A little bit? I got to take chemo. My father got diagnosed with cancer, so he's going through treatment. When does the uh, chemo start? I don't know. They, I guess he's going to tell me. It really affects me because I live in Atlanta, and I'm a long way from home, and my head and my heart is with my father. When you coming home? Good morning, girls! Your man has a message for you! So pretty much you have the house divided into two groups. You have the classier women, which are me, Kashmir, and Stax. Good morning! And you have more of the sluts, who are Little Hood, Cocktail, Chardonnay, Danger, and Feisty's definitely on the fence. Well, you guys ready to hear from your man? Yeah. I definitely think that our group is a lot better than the other girls. Ladies, I got something special for y'all today. I'm taking y'all out, ladies. We're gonna let off some steam. I'm gonna introduce y'all to one of my favorite famous friends, all right? And believe me, he's gonna knock y'all out. I'm just excited right now because I don't know exactly where we're going. Be ready, ladies. It's going down today. Oh boy! That's right. Get ready. Your man will be seeing you in a minute. So we pull up in front of the Glendale Fight Club, and I am like, oh no. I'm more of a prissier girl, and I don't like to get that physical. <laughs> I am super nervous. Welcome to the next challenge. It's been a lot of talking in the crib. If you see me on the phone, why would you even say that? me if you want to, bitch. You will be erased off the map. You don't really care if 15 women can't stand your ass? No, I don't care. I had to put together a challenge that I felt was gonna be crazy. It's gonna show me which girl was willing to fight for my love. I'm a huge fan of boxing. So in this challenge, 
I'm gonna need y'all to learn a quick little boxing lesson. And then I want y'all to put y'all skills to the test in the ring, or y'all get to fight each other in one round fights. When I find out that we're gonna be boxing each other, like, oh my God, I do not wanna get beat up by these fat cows. I'm just so excited because I could just get rid of all this pent up frustration and show them that I could bitch up. I'm gonna split y'all up into two teams, all right? We got the pink team and we got the blue team. Y'all ready for the teams? Pink team, Lil Hood, Chardonnay, Cocktail, and Danger. Oh my right. God. Blue team, Feisty, Stax, Cashmere, and Unique. Wow. I split the two teams up into the cliques that's in the house. It was tension in the room. You could hear a rat piss on cotton. All right, ladies. So look, y'all hit the locker room, put y'all training outfits on. Let's get ready for a knockout. Let's do it, ladies. Let's go. Looking good, blue team and the pink team. But you know, before every good fight, gotta be trained. So I got a legendary trainer in the building with me today, y'all. World renowned, two-time trainer of the year, Mr. Jack Mosley. Hello, ladies, how you doing? Now, not only is he two-time trainer of the year, his son is also six-time defending champion, my homeboy, Sugar Shane Mosley, all right? Now, he's been training Shane since he was a little kid. He's gonna be training y'all ladies. Blue team, y'all train first with Jack. He's gonna show y'all some, some, some training moves to get y'all ready to be champions. Are you left-handed too? Right. Like throw the left hand, twist your left foot. Are you right-handed? Okay. What's the, what's the... Well, where you feel comfortable. <laughs> That's gonna be your stance. Okay, now, these are called drills, okay? okay. So you guys are gonna do the same thing. We're gonna practice drills. Yeah, snap it. Uh <laughs> The right foot, there's the right foot. There you go. Feel the difference? Uh, yep. You'll knock somebody out like that. So I don't have any idea who I'm fighting, but I know I don't want to fight danger. She look crazy for me. See, keep turning. I'm not hair anywhere. Don't worry about your hair, keep turning. Come on, let's go. Let's see you hard, hard. So we start training, and he's showing us how to like stand in position, and I'm like getting worked out before I even start ripping these girls' butt. We're watching the blue team practice, and from looking at them, they don't seem very strong. This is for a date. I got that. Do not have mercy on anybody. When you throw the punches and want to twist, yeah, your hips. Not like not that. Like you that. See, no. follow me. She don't know what she's doing. She come like Man, this is gonna be crazy. Cause y'all got all that tension. Man, yeah. this is gonna be deep. Medic, where's the medic? All right, ladies, it's about that time. Now, let me explain to you how this thing is gonna go. We're gonna flip a coin. Whoever wins that coin toss gets to pick who goes first and who they wanna fight in a two-minute round. Jack and myself will judge the fight. The team with the most wins wins the day tonight, and tonight is gonna be off the chain. Everybody in this house but me has had a date with Ray, so I really need to win the next challenge. Blue team, you call it. Tails. Tails. So we do the coin toss and the pink team wins. I think the blue team's pretty pissed off. We're definitely off to a good start. The pink team won the coin toss. Who do y'all pick to come out of y'all team first to fight? Feisty. Okay, we got Little Hood coming out the pink team first and she wants to fight Feisty out of the blue team. I have to admit, I'm gonna get a little pleasure seeing Feisty getting her butt kicked by Lil Hood. I'm gonna pop homegirl's little boobies over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm All right, Stax is going second. Who you wanna fight? Cocktail. I wanna fight Unique. I hate Unique's guts. She's evil. She's ugly, she's fat, and I wanna put her in her place. Danger and Unique. That's gonna be good, yeah. Glass, cashmere, and Chardonnay. <laughs> I'm ready, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need y'all to go back and get ready for a knockout. Let's go, ladies, come on. I'm excited, I'm nervous. Everybody's heart is beating fast. This is going down right now as we speak. Oh my God! Let's do it. In this first round, fighting out of the pink corner and hailing from Orlando, Florida, standing five feet, five inches tall, weighing 100 pounds, 
It's a little hood. I'm nervous, but I need to get my head in a place that I can get myself to beat the out of feisty. And fighting out of the blue corner, hailing from Miami, Florida, at five feet tall, exactly weighing 102 pounds, it's feisty. We're preparing before the fight, and they're putting our headgear on and all our stuff. Now ready, ladies? And I'm just like, what the am I getting myself into right now? Ladies, come over here, please, to the middle of the ring. I want a nice, clean fight. Remember, no low blows, no biting. When you hear the bell, come out fighting. Coming up next. not about to get in there. No. And later, she wants to leave the house. I'm shocked. She's going to say goodbye to us. I will remember you, baby. Y'all ready, ladies? So the fight's about to start, and Ray calls up Lil Hood and Feisty, and they look like scared little chickens in a little chicken coop about to fight. I can't wait. I want a nice, clean fight. Remember, no low blows, no biting. When you hear the bell, come out fighting. Feisty and Hood are getting it in. I'm shocked that they are really going at it. I'm excited. I'm, I'm pumping little Hood up. I'm like, come on, Hood, come on, Hood, you got this. So I start to fight Little Hood, and the first thing she does is she pushes me on the floor. So at this point, I know she's playing dirty, and I want to f her up. You okay? All right, let's go. Feisty gets up off that canvas, and she keeps jabbing, jabbing, jabbing at Little Hood's face. I'm thinking, oh, hell no. Yeah. I mean, this was a cat fight. It was really, really intense. It was brutal. It was bad. Yeah, you got some good job. Good job, girl. Little Hood, it actually knocked Feisty down. So I'm thinking we're going to win this. All right, ladies. What a fight. We talked it over. Feisty had more hits. So he gave the fight to Feisty. Yeah. Feisty won the fight. She had more punches in the face, more power punches. Listen, I thought y'all both came out. I thought y'all both gave it great effort. I'm feeling really pissed off right now because I know that I won the fight. I felt like it was a great fight. I think Hood should have won, but it doesn't matter because me, Cocktail, and Chardonnay are gonna kick their asses anyway. The pink team has fire in their eyes. Danger is psycho. She's almost on the verge of a serial killer. At this point, I did not want to get in there and fight that crazy girl. And I'm going to try to persuade my team not to fight. Because if I'm not going to get in there, I would hope that my team doesn't want to get in there either. And then I'm off the hook. I'm, I'm cool. Myself. Nah. This stupid. This look no, catty as hell. When we too damn grown, I'll be Fighting out of the pink corner, hailing from Sacktown, California. Five foot five, weighing 119 pounds. We got cocktail. No. Stupid as hell. Stupid. I'm Unique looked at me. She said, I'm not doing it. And I looked at her like, I'm not doing it either. My head really wasn't in the game. My whole head is really with my family. Fighting out of the blue corner, hailing from the ATL, five four. 125 pounds of stacks. Woo! My whole team is not, not doing it. Can we don't want to put no. ourselves in a position of looking like fools. Ladies, you can always throw in the towel. All of a sudden, Unique, the grandma freaking alpha female of the freaking group, decides to throw the freaking towel in. Are you kidding me? 
I wouldn't go fight no girl in a club. Or it's just not me. Weird. Uh-uh. I'm uh -huh. not doing it. I'm still got to maintain being a lady. And that's just to me. I'm not a pro. I'm so mad I didn't get to knock out Unique. I was looking forward to that all day. So that's it. Y'all don't want to fight? You want to keep being ladies. Though. I still got love for y'all. I don't know what Unique's problem is. This is the third time that she's choked. Now she's quitting, and it's like, what's up with you? Arise, I guess the pink team wins, right? Pink team wins? Like, yeah. This is You are the champions. Take your belts, ladies. So we end up winning the date by default. I am feeling like, you know what? I got in the ring, and I gave it all I had, and I showed him that I could. I'm cooking up something extra special for all of us to do tonight. I ain't gonna even let y'all know, but we gonna go out and party it up tonight. They put out. You know, you should have said it from the beginning. Of course, we're gonna punch the out of each other. What the did you think it was gonna be like? You know, doing each other's hairs. Lessons. I don't condone hate and I don't condone violence. So I understand where Unique was coming from, but I still thought she was scared. Was it the right thing to do? I needed some time to think about that. I still got a lot of love for the blue team. Don't think I don't. It was a challenge. I ain't tripping. I feel bad at the fact that I gave up on the challenge, but just because I gave up does not mean that I still don't care for him. I want to thank all y'all for at least giving an effort. It's all love, ladies. I feel bad, but I mean, nothing I can do. It's fair. Now I get and I have to see in the house again. I went out there by myself. And then in the end, for what? What's up, Feisty? How you feel? I'm like pissed because I feel like they should have said something before. Like if they didn't want to like do it. Feisty's never won a challenge. See, finally she wins a fight. She felt like her team leaves her out to dry. I felt like that too. Do you think they were scared of the other chicks? If they didn't want to get hit. You know get knocked out or feel, feel the blows. Even in the midst of you being the, like the smallest, you came in throwing punches. You've been giving it your all. I know you haven't won a day, so if you ain't doing nothing tonight, you should just get dressed and come out with us anyway. Yay! So I'm super excited to go on with Ray tonight. I'm just happy that he actually came to ask me out. After my dad asked me when was I coming home, that right there just took a toll on me. Well? Stacks. Yeah? What's the matter? Stash, don't cry. No, I know what I'm talking about. My father is not feeling well. He had cancer. And a couple days ago, he went through surgery. And um, and it's like, I feel bad being here. When Stax tells me her dad is sick and that she wants to leave the house, I'm shocked. You can't put your all into something when the most important people in your life are suffering. No, it's just, it should be the most important. Right. Thank you. You gotta go be with your family then. Yeah. And then take my heart and take it back there with you. You know what, Stax is a sexy, smart, intelligent girl, you know? I could have seen myself with her, but Stax has to be with her family right now. Much respect, blessings to her. My prayers go out to her family. It's all love. I just had a meeting with Stax, and um, she going through some family issues at the crib, some, some stuff that, you know, can't be put on hold, she's gonna say goodbye to us. So I find out that Stax has to leave because her dad has cancer, so I'm feeling really sad just because I didn't want her to leave. Stax doesn't need to be here. I mean, her family is a lot more important than Ray, and, and I think she knows that. I'm definitely feeling like good riddance to Stax no matter what's happening because she's just such an evil bitch. Thank you. <laughs> it's time for me to go home. Like, my family is very important to me. Damn, stacks. No. I will remember you, baby. Oh, no. All right? <laughs> See you later. All right. Bye. So with Stax leaving under unfortunate um, conditions, that brings the total down to seven girls now. And, you know, this is a game. And I'm just one step closer to being with Ray.
coming up next. Y'all heard I told Feisty to come with us too. Feisty's coming on the date with us. This is my date, but now I'm having to compete with Feisty. You and I, one-on-one time tonight. But we're in the bathroom. Okay, no, what's going on? So the pink team, we're really excited about where we're gonna be going tonight. All I know is that we're gonna go have fun, we're getting dolled up, we're putting our dresses on. I'm so ready for some sexual <laughs> release, man. I just want him to give me a big fat kiss. That's all I want. Did like, you get a kiss? I didn't even ask you. A pack. No. For fun tonight, like we're wilding uh, out tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. heard I told Feisty to come with us too. Yeah, that was only right. Yeah. It was only right. And I find out that Feisty's coming on the date with us. I am pissed off because Ray needs to be fair and give the time to the girls that really seriously were the winners. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to take the girls somewhere where they can just let it all unwind. I took them to Club Ledoux, one of my favorite spots in Hollywood. Ladies, ladies, have a seat. So we arrive at Ledoux nightclub and it's so gorgeous. We sit down for this private dinner with all these candles and fancy little plates. Let's make a toast to just a whole lot of fun tonight. Yeah. That's it, it's fun all night long, you know what I'm saying? Yo, so look, I got y'all something. Y'all open them up. You got gifts? What? You got gifts? Huh? I got gifts for y'all. Gifts from gifts. today, you know what I'm saying? In front of us are these like fancy little boxes, and I'm like, what is this? Some little 14 karat gold, little boxing gloves, you know what I'm saying? Aw, so cute. Thank you. Ray gives us 14 karat boxing glove necklaces that are totally adorable. Feisty, I didn't know you was coming. You came with it though, girl. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting you something right now, but here, you could wear my chain all night. Aww, that's cute. You know what I'm saying? I could wear you a boxing glove too. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy you're here. Ray is paying attention to Feisty because I feel like he feels pity because her team dumped out on her. It's like the old saying goes, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Well, Feisty's been the squeaky wheel because she hasn't gotten a date with him. So he's gotta give her her oil. Booboo, when I wake up tomorrow morning, you better give me a little bit of rubbing on my arms and my, my back. We about to get it poppin'. You know what I'm saying? We gonna do a rock and roll style tonight. I'm gonna tell her to turn on a little hip hop and R&B. Yeah. let's have some fun. So after dinner, we have this little nice VIP section set up. So we started taking shots, we're drinking champagne, and we started dancing with Ray, and we're just having fun. Everything is cool at this point. Like, I'm, I'm really feeling the place. I'm feeling the music, and it's cool. Yeah, I'm Chavo because I'm from Miami and I'm always happy. I'm always having a good time. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of it here. Feisty, she's stepping up her game. That's how I like it. I can truly say I'm feeling she hot. This is my date, but now I'm having to compete with Feisty? What the hell is this about? All I'm saying is maybe you and I one-on-one time tonight. But we're in the bathroom. Okay, I'm like, no, what's going on? She's throwing herself at me. It's not like I don't like you, but you're pulling my clothes and yanking me. Stop. Stop. <laughs> my ass is all hanging on. Little Hood is trying too hard, which makes me want to vomit. Y'all don't want to see that <laughs> So, night was crazy at the club. Ledoux was off the chain. It was a success. We leave the club, we all hop in the lax, and we all drive back to the crib. And he's like, oh, feisty, you haven't won a challenge. You, you're like the squeaky wheel. I need the oil right now. What? No, like, feisty done been bitching because she hasn't won no challenges. So he's like, I'm going to be up your ass tonight then. Lil Hood, seriously, 
Shut up, you're talking all this mess about how you don't want to be here, and it's like, you're loony, are you crazy? Do I have to be like, oh my god, pay attention to me? No, you don't. Exactly. You don't do that anymore. I don't think he likes you, I'm sorry, I just don't. Little Hood was saying, I think I want to just go home because Ray is just not feeling me, and he's feeling the other girls, and I was like, yeah, you're right, he's not feeling you, you should go home. I've tried, like, everything, but seriously getting buck bookie naked for that I'm done, yo. Peace out, I'm about to be like, hmm. You already have no connection. Cocktail, am I wrong? Okay. Coming up next. I'm upset because you don't give a And later. The last night you said you wanted to go home, though, for sure, like, you're like, I want to go home. What happened? I don't want anybody to come to you with, like, Lil Hood said this, Lil Hood said that. Damn, why she saying you want to get out of here? Don't twist my words. Who you talking to? So I wake up this morning with this huge headache and I'm hungover. Last night was pretty crazy. We're just chilling today, like, cause he's still doing eliminations tonight cause he said yeah. somebody need to go. So, today is fun pool day. What's up with some breakfast? Got to see who, who know how to cook. How you doing this morning? I stayed up till everybody went to sleep. I watched Chardonnay go to sleep. She thought she could hang. She couldn't. Yeah, I went to sleep early. I needed time to like wrap my head around after last night. I'm not sure how to feel this morning. I'm starting to notice that Ray is really only paying attention to the girls that putting themselves out there sexually to him. What do I have to do? Pull out a to get attention for him? Hey. I felt a little bit like a groupie last night. You did? Yeah. I mean, it was eight That's girls crazy. dancing on one dude. Like, I mean, had twisted last night. Like, a little hood at this point is acting a little strange. I was feeling really, really upset about that. So I was just getting loaded, you know what I'm saying? I was having a good time. I was trying to show my love to everybody. But you know I'm feeling you. I'm really, really feeling you. And it's just sometimes I feel like it scares me a little bit because I'm like, oof. <laughs> when I feel my heart feel like that, I'm just like, oh, it scares me because, like, it's real. I think that Lil Hood is so fake. She tries so hard to be something that she's not. Oh, man. You want to talk? Where you been? You want to talk? Yeah. I want to talk to Ray tonight before eliminations because I have a lot of things on my mind right now and he could be sending me home tonight and I just want to set the record straight with him. What's up with you? Nothing. Why you been acting like that all day? Cuz, man, I'm tired, this crap. You put me in a damn sorority house for the 19 year olds, I'm just tired. I definitely got some questions about you, Nika, at this point. I don't know how I feel about her. You quit on me yesterday in the fight. Okay, I sure did. Threw in a towel. I sure did. It just seemed like you just kind of like, I don't care no more. I wasn't going to try to convince you to do nothing, but everybody following you. Like, it seemed like you trying to take over them <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's for the love of unique. <laughs> About damn time unique found love, so maybe <laughs> Whatever you do, that you do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, that is how I am. I'm like, you know, I do me no matter what. I don't do nothing. I don't feel like doing. I know this is about you. But realistically, I want a man that's gonna ride and die for me. What I'm getting from you, it was fun while it lasted. That's how I'm not getting. like that, because I can only go by how I've been treated in the I mean, you don't see I care for you? I made a bed with you. And we slept all night. It was yeah. comfortable. If you questioned if I was feeling you, yeah. I'm showing that. But I want to see more, too. You know? I want to see more, too. I know how men treat Show me something. I will. I will. You throwing in the towel, it feels like you don't got no love for it. Taking it all the way to the next level and winning me over. I'm upset because you don't give a And you should. I do. Because I give a on you, because I care. Be lying. I do care. I got my eye on you, Nate, you know? Because I'm really trying to really see what she's here for. Because right now, I don't know. Is it me? What did you say? What happened? And he was like, you just seem like you just don't care. I do care. So it definitely could be me going home. I'm definitely nervous about elimination because I know Ray's disappointed in me. 
Yeah, I was pissed as last night. Mm. Because of a dumb bitch. All you were saying last night in the car, like, I wanna go home, I wanna go home, I yeah, wanna I go home. I'm done. Peace out. I'm about to be like, zoom, out of here. Be careful. If I were you, I'd talk to him before anything get, gets back to him. Yeah. Go over there. Are you going over there now? Right now with Ray, I'm his eyes and ears, but I don't want to be the snitch of the house, so I really want to change my strategy. So I get into Lil Hood's head about how she should totally go up to Ray and let him know how she really feels. Just go look for him. All right. I keep telling myself, I have to talk to Ray. I have to talk to Ray. But I feel like, you know what, just give it time, just give it time, because I don't feel like dealing with people talking behind my back. As long as I'm real to Ray, that's all that matters. It's me. Should you talk to him? Straight up, I'm not about to portray something that makes him think I'm going home. I'm just saying, like, be careful, because it already got back to him, you know? like. I don't care if I go home, you know, do do it because no, then I never ever want to him. I don't care if I go home. But you have though. Lil Hood is so easily convinced about anything that I say. It's like she's about to get herself eliminated. It's just what you've said. Maybe you might have not meant it like that, but you have said, send me home. I don't care if I go home tonight. Oh, that's not me at all. I'm feeling really nervous because I know these girls are sitting there talking about me because of the fact I said that I was leaving. I know these girls are out for blood. Sorry, I got out of the shower and came right to you. I forgot to tell you one really, really big important thing. What? You can call me out in front of everybody. We can go in there right now, straight up. Well, let's go talk to let's them. Let's go. Little Hood comes to me and tells me that she had a problem and she wanted to address the situation in front of the girls. I don't know what's going on. Something's weird, though. All right, so y'all want to put me on blast talking about, like, the night that I said I want to go home or want to eliminate myself. Who are we talking to? Because nobody said none. So Little Hood comes in the room with the, just a towel on. She just looks like she just got out of rehab or something. I'm like, oh my god, what now? The conversation was had the other night. Um, baby girl, ain't nobody said none. So at this point, I don't even consider myself being a snitch because Ray needs to know who the hell is here for him for reals. And we need to weed out the girls that don't belong here. Nobody wants to admit that they were all talking about it. Oh, great, right, baby. Have I ever said, I ain't never said nothing about Lil Hood to you, so. So we gather all the girls up in the green room and then Little Hood starts talking about how they went behind her back and told me that she wanted to go home. Nobody told me that. Honestly, nobody really came to me with nothing. No, I'm not coming in here you like, yo. So what you talking about? I just wanted to prove to you the conversation was had. Last night, yeah, I was saying like, you know what, I'm done. And that I'm just eliminating myself. What happened? Yeah, I'm just being real with you because I don't want anybody to come to you with like, Lil Hood said this, Lil Hood said that. I'd rather it all be addressed Honestly, with Lil Hood here. I'm confused. I'm like, wait, you want to go home? After hearing what you saying and then saying I'm a I am like, damn, why she going saying you want to get out of here? I never said, oh, I'm going to go home. Don't put it out there like I'm saying it like that, please. Then last night you said you wanted to go home, though, for sure. Like, you're like, I want to go home, right? Oh, last night? Yeah. I, I think I think you lost, ma. Uh, no, I'm not I think you lost. got lost in your thoughts because what happened was you came in here to, to confront them about what they said. I came in here then to prove you... to you that the conversation was had, it was said that it was had, that's what, that's the whole point of it. Do you get it now? Or no? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Lil Hood is embarrassing herself. We don't know what she's talking about, and she definitely doesn't know what she was talking about. So I'm just looking and laughing because I'm letting her dig the hole deeper for herself. Do me a favor, please. <laughs> Don't twist my words. Don't sit here and say that I came to you Who and said- Who you talking said, to? You. What you mean don't do what I'm Don't I, twist my I'm words. I'm not twisting Don't come in my room talking You can stress your opinion out of, you know, respect Oh my God, seriously, shut your mouth. Oh, seriously. wow. <laughs> what? Oh. Where'd that come from? <laughs> None of the girls in the house told me that Lil Hood wanted to go home. So, I'm a little confused. And now she wants to get an attitude with me for no reason. You know what, looking back on the past few weeks, Little Hood has really done some strange I stay in my hustle. I keep my Next six months, they wear a bag just to Did you just say that you was gonna hit me to where I couldn't no more? Oh my God. 
not only from a mental standpoint, but you know, from a physical standpoint too. All I'm saying is maybe you and I one on one time tonight. But we're in the bathroom. I don't like when a girl forces herself on me. You know what I'm saying? When I walked out of that room, I was just done. Done with the bull done with everybody being fake, including Ray. I want out now. He's gonna sit there and he's gonna make me look like a fool? Are you serious? Like, for real? So I'm taking my suitcases and I'm going. I don't give a anymore. Like, straight up, like, I'm a real bitch. I keep it real. I'm out, yo. I'm out, like, shout. I am so shocked that Lil Hood doesn't even know that I got her to do that. I'm like, okay, really? I'll help you with that. And I'm like trying to zip up so she just gets the hell out of here finally. I don't regret anything I ever did here because I've stayed true to myself to, like the entire time. And I'm gonna continue to be real because that's who I am. Don't portray me like I'm some fake bitch. Don't do that. That's not me. That's not me. If you were in this situation, what the hell would you be doing right now? Your mind would be up to. Coming up next. What's wrong? You're spoiled, and if you lost all of this today, I really don't think you know what to do with yourself. We're at eliminations, and I'm looking around, and I see six girls. I'm like, where's Little Hood to myself? And I'm like thinking, she must have bonked out because she's not up here for elimination. Little Hood is packing up her stuff. Stax just went home and there's only six girls left, so I'm not worried. There are a couple reasons why I could be going home tonight, but after seeing Little Hood act the way she did, I know it might have cut me some slack. Where, um, where Little Hood at? She packed her bags and walked out the front door. Let me go see if Little Hood outside. I'll be back. All right. Ray goes outside to talk to Little Hood, and we were like, you know, what's gonna happen tonight? We were just like confused. How long you been out here for? <laughs> Since the bedroom. What's wrong? So I walk outside, and there she is, ready to leave, with her bags on the curb. I'm thinking at this point, what the hell is going on? What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? For real? You're gonna come out here and ask me what's wrong? I've been straight up with you about everything from the very beginning. And if you wanna respect that, you can respect that. I respect that, but I don't respect when you say something about a situation and don't handle the situation the way it should be handled. Whatever, whatever, it is what it is. Like, honestly, I tried to stick it out and deal with these dumb You give the ones who show, who like pulls out the does a little dance, you give them the time of day. You did that? I never put out no whatsoever. I, no. Nobody ever put out in there. You wanted to get freaky. You told me you wanted to meet me in my room and get it cracking. Mm -hmm. So You're what right. are you talking about? I'm, 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 I'm lost. I cannot time. live in the house with all this I know, anymore. but at the same time, I was getting confused because you was going back and forth with what you were saying. No, there's no going back and forth. I want to be here for you. Yeah, well, I'm not here for you. Yeah. Definitely not. All right, you know what? You're spoiled, and if you lost all of this today, I really don't think you know what to do with yourself. For real? For real. Spoiled. I really don't. I wanted to end it on a good note, but you know what she said to me? You a spoiled brat. You know what I thought when she said that? You really want to know what I thought when that chick told me that? I cannot live in the house with all this I know, anymore. but at the same time, I was getting confused because you wasn't keeping it real in the situation. And then, quite frankly, I was getting confused because you was going back and forth with what you were saying. No, there's no going back and forth. Straight up, you're spoiled. And if you lost all of this today, I really don't think you know what to do with yourself. For real? For real. I really don't. I wanted to end it on a good note. But you know what she said to me? You a spoiled brat. You know what I thought when she said that? You really want to know what I thought when that chick told me that? God bless you. And good night. I'm going to get a car up here for you. Why don't you go back in there with your little trackies, please? Seriously. What's that? Sluts. I wanted her to go home, and I wanted her to find herself. 
after she found herself, maybe one day she can find love. Bye. Be easy, yo. Little Hood really is real. She wasn't like the other girls running around the house being like, oh, well, he said this, she said this. Yeah, I've done it a couple times. You have to do what you can to maintain getting by day to day in this house. You have to. All right, look, ladies, Little Hood just bounced. We had a talk outside. It didn't work. All I know is that she gave up. Right when she felt like times was getting shaky. Little Hood decided that she is not coming back. She wants to go home. And I was like, thank God. She made the best decision that she's made the whole time she's been here. I mean, ain't no elimination. Like, she eliminated herself. Yo, it's six girls left. And I feel like I'm getting rid of the fakes, the liars, and the girls that ain't true. So with that being said, come get your glasses. Let's drink. Stax and Little Hood are both gone. So now it's six people. And I just feel like it's one step closer for me and Ray. I just want to know one thing. Are y'all here for the love of Ray J? Yeah. <laughs> Bless him. What the hell was Little Hood talking about? <laughs> Next on For the Love of Ray J. I wanted to give the girls an opportunity to showcase their passions. Mm-mm-mm, that's hot. Me and Ray are totally connecting right now. Mm. When you down in Miami, he can hit you up. Y'all can party, have drinks together. Is that how you feel? Yeah, ain't that? Is that how I mean, you feel, I don't want to talk for you, but. No, that's not how I feel. You're supposed to be my friend, and you're seeing this right in front of me. Spicy, you just stay right there and look pretty. What's going on? Miss you, girl. Stax called to spill the dirt. She had already been on reality shows. And her role on the show was to be a gold digger. Has anybody been on another <laughs> reality TV show? Never. Never? Yeah. Wow, she's lying. <laughs>